Hello， 大家好，我是曾梅，今天教给大家做番茄炖牛腩。这是一个有点现代。Welcome back to the show. Today, this Asian woman is braising some brisket in a Chinese beef brisket tomato stew. For lack of a better name, I'm sure there is a better name, but I lack it. What she's going to do first is just boil the brisket to get that weird blood stuff that comes out of beef when you boil it, and actually a lot of meat. This is a Japanese-made sort of clay pot, which she really likes because the blood sticks to the side. This is some pre-boiled water just to save time. Always put the lid on when you want things to heat up quick because it just saves a lot of energy and a lot of time. There's our brisket. It's、uh, a bit a bit scrawny looking. There's a few of these, so chop them large because they're going to cook for a long time and they will reduce in size and they're going to be super tender anyway. So nice and large is nice and hearty. Keep going until all what you've got is chopped up. She's got about one kilo of meat there today, I think. That's what she said. Although looking at it right now, it looks a bit more, doesn't it? Who knows? That is boiling vigorously. She's gonna whack it in. I thought you said it was braised. Don't you sort of fry braised meat first? Hey, I'm no expert, but yeah, she fries it later. Okay. Okay. I'll take my own word for it. No real need to to massage it now. But you know she can't resist. Whack the lid back on. Whack the lid back on. Whack the lid back on. Thank you. Now, while that is boiling away, let's prepare some of the other ingredients. She's got five tomatoes here for one kilo of meat. So you could add more or less. What she's going to do is skin them. So she's just sort of slicing the skin in an X shape like that. And plonking it in a bowl. Once that's done, get some more scalding hot water. Yeah, you can go down there. You thought you'd sit on top, but nope, not good enough. And just give them a nice bath of scalding hot water. This will make the skin easy to come off. A little known fact is this is what they also do with bananas before you buy them in the supermarket. That's why bananas are so easy to peel. This is some ginger. Just cut that up. What she's using here is a really kind of large, oversized tea bag, so that you don't have to spit the herbs and spices out. Oh, I pronounced the H like an idiot.、You、don't have to spit the herbs and spices out. Put the ginger in, and now watch this. She thinks she's a magician by not showing us. That's some cinnamon, and that's some star anise. Why not show us what you're putting in there? Sleight of hand. Later on, she's going to pull it out like a rabbit. This is leek.、Uh, it's kind of a scrawny-looking leek, but she's just going to whack in the white bits right now. Down the bottom there, and these、uh, green bits, not as much, not as much. Cut them large, like everything else, because it's all gonna cook for quite a long time. Get nice and soft. More carrots if you want more carrots. So that's a that's a little bit of carrot. Good for your eyes. Is that a you know that's one of those things where people are like oh that's a, a wives' tale, but I think there is a lot of truth to it. Now, these have been sitting for like a minute or two, probably. Don't need to sit them for that long, but look at that! Look at that! It's like peeling a rabbit. You could leave the skin on. It's really just for、um, texture in your mouth. A lot of people don't want to chew on tomato skin. I bet you that's where all the vitamins are. I'm not a scientist. Wish I was though. Now, do you see around the sides of that bowl how it's got all that scum? That's what she actually wants to remove. So. Probably full of iron. Here we are in these trying times, and I just want to lick the blood scum off the side of that thing to get my iron up. All right, take that out. Take it all out. All right, she's cleaned that、uh, bowl up, that pot, whatever it's called, and put it back on the fire. Grab yourself a really large drum of oil and add a little bit, because she's going to fry up that meat with some of those leeks. I think you've got to be careful with these clay pots. You don't really want to have them dry and on a high heat, because they might split. At least that's what I'm afraid of. I've never seen that happen, but that's just waiting for it. Is that a prediction? Because I've seen this video before. Ooh, you'll have to wait and see. Although you will be disappointed, because no, that doesn't happen. Sorry to spoil my own teaser there. Put the leeks in, give them some frying, some caramelizing, and some of the meat. That's the meat that she just cooked. Whack it back in. 
Now, you could eat the meat like this, but that wouldn't be the dish that they're making. Like, technically, it's edible. Just wait, though. Just wait. I had a friend once that was making homebrew beer. Like, a big keg of it, and he started drinking it, like, about four hours after he made it. Yeah, good times. Alright, give that a bit of a stir-fry. For about five minutes. You know, brown up the edges, stuff like that. If you're in a tiny spaceship crash landing into this meat, this is what it might look like. Whoa! Anyway, after about five minutes of frying that stuff up, we're going to boil it again. So add some more hot water. This is clearly not enough, so go and boil some more. It's just quicker to boil in the jug. You can add cold water if you want, but it'll take longer. You have to wait for it to heat up and everything. There we go. Add in your spice tea bag, or just put the spices in naturally, native style. Up to you. Don't forget to take it out or else you'll be chomping on a tea bag later. Put the lid on and let that cook for about 30 minutes, pretty high heat. You don't want it so high so that it bubbles up out, which is a danger. After 30 minutes, whack in the carrots and get ready to whack in your tomatoes. I call them potatoes. Now, she doesn't like those white bits at the end. See that? See how she's, she's discarding those little bits. Why? That's where all the goodness is. I don't know if that's where all the goodness is. That's what you always hear though. When I was a kid, my grandma used to say, or my nana, she used to say, um, if you don't eat your crusts of your bread, you won't get curly hair. And I always thought, I don't want curly hair, so I never ate my crust anyway. Anyway, this is about 30, no it's not. It's a little, it's a few minutes later, because she's just cut those up. And she's gonna put those tomatoes in. They're gonna reduce down. Did she, did those white bits fall in anyway? She's a magician. A magician in this one. Speaking of being a magician, soy sauce, gotta add that so you can claim it's a Chinese dish. You can claim it, you don't have to build an island on top of this to claim it as your own. In an airstrip and missile base. Add a little bit of salt, just like so. There we go. Can't have food without salt in it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whack the lid on and she's going to cook that for another 20 or 30 minutes. While that's cooking, prepare your garnish to make it look nice. And just have a look, just have a look. Ooh, that's a Chinese dish and it's always been a Chinese dish. But see how everything sort of melted down? More sugar? What are you, crazy? Do we just repeat the same footage? Uh, it's a kind of a sweet dish. Ooh. Just about ready so we can add in these green things. If you add them in too early, they'll just dissolve into nothing and they won't look good. It's pretty much just to look good. Chinese food is a lot about looking good, even though a lot of it looks terrible. Okay, there's that big old tea bag. Don't forget to take it out. And let's, uh, let's give it a try. Give it a try. Give it a try. My boys just walked into my recording studio. AKA bedroom. Below that. What's that like? Oh, it's good. It's like a tomato soup. Try that, guys. It's pretty good and hearty and warm for winter, which I know is ending for a lot of people now, but it'll come back. Bye bye. Okay. See you come again. Bye bye. She's gonna make some tomato braised Chinese brisket mess.